over the last three years, this channel has grown into the largest luxury real estate channel on YouTube, touring some of the most expensive penthouses, apartments, and modern mega mansions around the world. Now, usually these tours are top of the line production with the fancy drone shots and the steady cam work. But I think now more than ever, people just want to see an authentic look behind the scenes. From sleeping in a Jeep driving across country to suited up, standing on the property of a $34 million mega mansion in California. I just did a 20 minute long meditation with some deep breathing here in the snow. And to be honest, I'm in the middle of the woods, so I'm probably gonna take off all my clothes and run around naked and get some cold therapy in. So in this video, I'm going to show you a vlog. No cameraman, no fancy editing, just an honest look at a day in my life living in New York City as a luxury real estate agent. There's a lot going on today. I have a pitch for a $95 million penthouse apartment. I'm traveling to Los Angeles for the first time in over a year to film some, some of the most incredible properties we've ever seen on my channel. And if you wanna see a more realistic look at my life, give the video a thumbs up for more vlogs. And with that, let's get into a day in my life. Seven o'clock in the morning. You know a lot of times when you watch a day in the life or a vlog and people film themselves waking up and they're like, oh, I just woke up. I, I actually just woke up, hence the bed head. Big day today. Big day today. Okay, all right. So, most mornings I try to get up around five. Sometimes I'll sleep in. Today was one of those days because today is a snow day. All right, good morning. Good morning, Theo. You wanna go play in the snow? <gasps> Yes, you do, let's go play in the snow. Every single morning, the first thing I do is take this beautiful beast out on a nice walk. And I actually have a flight today, so let's hope, fingers crossed, that that doesn't get canceled. It is a blizzard out here. Look at this. I mean, it is just coming down hard. What do you think, Theo? What do you think, puppy? Good boy. I feel like a lot of times the weather forecasts and they hype it up to get the clicks in the news. Uh, they say it's gonna be a blizzard, but I think this might actually be a blizzard. New York has turned into a tundra and Theo even met a wolf, an actual wolf. We were playing at the basketball courts and this wolf just comes out of nowhere and they're playing for a good 45 minutes out there in the snow. Also super important, if you do have a dog in the city, make sure to wash the paws off, shake because the salt can really mess up their paws. There you go, you have to lure him with some food sometimes. Rinse it off, there we go. Before I do anything else in the morning, I'll get a stick of sandalwood incense, I'll light that sucker up, and I will meditate. And this is a deep breathing meditation, it's actually the Wim Hof method. When I first saw the method on YouTube, I questioned it. I was like, okay, I'm a bit skeptical, this looks like a bunch of just, this looks like just a fad, and then I bought his book, and I actually tried it out for the first time. I had never felt such clarity, and I've been doing it every single morning, followed by a cold shower. But I've believed in a solid morning routine for the past almost a decade. And if you've been watching me since the beginning, you know, where I started is very different from where I'm at now. That rock solid foundation to start your day, but changes, it varies. Not every day I'm up at 4 a.m. like a freaking animal. Some days like today, it's seven, but that routine stays the same. All right, in honor of today's snow, let's go with gray, gray suit today. And the first actual piece of real estate business we're doing today is a new development pitch with Tesla Developments. The third apartment tour I ever filmed on my channel was in this building. This is 172 Madison Avenue. And now we are going to pitch to sell and market the penthouse of 172 Madison Avenue. It's just under 20,000 square feet. So if you're in California and you have a 20,000 square foot home, that's a mega mansion, that's huge. But to have that in New York City, so this is the great room, there are 23 foot ceilings in this home. This shot right here really shows the perspective of how big this place is. Look at that floating glass staircase. Look at that fireplace in the dining room. <laughs> Look at that wine cellar. That's the master bedroom. Look at that bathroom, look at that tub. The penthouse also has just under 5,000 square feet of outdoor space. It was wishful thinking. I just got a text saying that 
the head of the development company can't make it in because of the storm and they want to push it to tomorrow. That's not the best news for me because unfortunately I am flying out to Los Angeles tonight. This is my first flight in, I don't, I don't even know. Cliche but true, everything happens for a reason. But the positive, I have now a free hour and a half so I'm gonna change out of this and get in a home workout. After the past year of quarantine and gyms being closed, I invested in this fold-up bench. And this is all the equipment I have as far as my home gym. A pair of 25-pound dumbbells, 30-pound kettlebells, this fold-up bench, which is by Flybird. The workout today is pretty simple. It's total body. It'll take 30 minutes hitting every single muscle group. Theo is going to be here supporting, making sure my form is correct. What's back there? Is your ball back there? His ball is stuck. Let me grab that for you. That's one of the main things I love about this loft is the fact that there's enough space to get in a pretty good home workout. Some big changes for this video. I mentioned I had a flight to California. Well, just to be totally honest, this is all I'm gonna say on the subject. Hannah and I have parted ways. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I found in my life during hard times, getting back to nature is the best thing and just doing a monotonous task to kind of just have your mind be clear. So we are now, rather than flying, the two of us, where's he at? The two of us are gonna drive across America. 2,800 miles away, here we go. Essentially, we loaded up the car and just hit the road. We haven't checked the weather which maybe we should do that at some point. This video is at this point a total 180 from the original concept of a day in the life of a luxury real estate YouTuber. I mean, essentially once we get to California, there'll be more luxury real estate, but we're just tossing a road trip there in the middle. Pit stop, let's go. The name of the game is whatever Theo's nose touches, I have to buy. That's actually a very good idea for a Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast, if you're watching this, credit, whatever you want, Theo. You're in control. Okay, he wants the cats. Literally ran right into the cat. He is so confused. I don't think he's ever seen a cat before. That's a cat. He's like, nope, no thank you. Theo is not a fan of cats. Oh, someone's a happy puppy. Yeah, when we get in the car. You've been such a good boy, you get treats. All right, let's go back to the car, come on. There's about a foot and a half of snow. As you can see, this dog is up to his belly in snow. There goes his head buried in the snow. <laughs> what is he doing? This dog loves this snow so much. Look at him go, look at him go. It's like a rabbit. There's gonna be a lot of snow this whole trip. It's the middle of winter. We drove all night. We're in the middle of America. It's pretty foggy. It's cold, it's seven degrees out. But we are making progress and now we have to decide if we're going to continue to go north. There's a pretty big storm some snow it looks like a little bit of freezing rain south though we'd avoid the weather potentially we'd still have to go through some freezing rain though so i mean you'll see in the next clip where we are in the snow or the rain a very good morning from a tiny abandoned town in west texas off of the world famous route 66 this town has seen its uh, fair share of better days i urge you if you're ever driving across america take 66 for at least half of your drive It'll take you a lot longer, but that is the point in itself to slow it down. Enjoy the drive. Stop in a ghost town. What do you want to do next, pup? Good morning. Good morning, pup. It's most definitely a sight to see. I mean, this town has truly just been left back in time. Even check out this old truck complete with the uh, bullet holes there in the window. If you've ever seen the movie Cars, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Stop in a little town like Radiator Springs, go to a diner, give them some business. The interstate is fantastic if you have to get from A to B in a quick amount of time. Slowing down is the name of the game and taking Route 66 will slow you down. Unless you're Theo, then it'll speed you up and you'll go crazy when we stop on the side of the road. Come on, we gotta get to the Grand Canyon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the point in the journey where you're 27 hours into a 38 hour drive and all you have are your thoughts. Number one, the moment that I left New York, this thought entered my mind. The perspective that through some hard work and of course a bit of luck, I'm fortunate enough to live life on my own terms. 
to decide on a whim that I wanted to drive across the country and more importantly had the freedom to do it. You know, five years ago I had to ask my boss for permission to use the bathroom. And that's why journaling is important. For me, it keeps that perspective so fresh that you never forget where you came from to help remind you where you're going in life. This right here is a journal entry. Driving across country alone gives you that time to dive deep into your thoughts. The only voice you have to listen to is your own. And that five day drive across country taking mainly back roads off 66, it is jet fuel for the soul. The silence of a desert sunset over a painted canyon rim. Knowing that there's still places in this world where you can drive hundreds of miles in any direction and not see another human being. This, this right here, this is our only go around, our only game, that's it. And you know, these deep thoughts, when they come, they flood on so fast, they're so powerful, but I know damn well that they fade once life kicks back in. I know when I get to Los Angeles, there'll be scheduling issues, reshoots, I mean, I got a fat nail in my tire, my windshield cracked in the drive out here, but the main thing, if you're lucky enough to experience it, is holding on to that feeling when the routine of your life takes over, Even just now, I'm getting a phone call during this voiceover. How's that for a real stick? I'm like, good morning, sir. This is Ricardo with Safe Life. You might just have to pay a deductible of 100, 200. Uh, even just there, uh, life, life catches up. That was the Safe Light guy with the windshield repair. But like I was saying, the whole point of this whole journal entry and keeping this in the video is to share a bit of my actual thought process and you know, don't forget that feeling, man. This is our only go around at this, so make it count. We're here in Los Angeles. I just woke up and we're about to head to a $34 million mansion to film a property tour. So with that, I'll see you there. From sleeping in a Jeep driving across country to suited up, standing on the property of a $34 million dollar mega mansion in california this is a vlog we're keeping it raw no steady cams i'm just going to walk you through this place and give you a sneak peek of the property before the tour goes live on my youtube channel it should be live the week after this drops so here we have it this is the entryway of the home you walk on forward here double height ceilings and if you look up this is a 60 foot retractable skylight. This is all automated. This opens up to let in all that sunlight and fresh air. We'll get to the lower level in a second, but first I'll show you another view of the door. So front door, head on in. I love how this nice frosted glass floor, super modern. Heading on down this hallway, we have the white oak on the walls to the home office. I love this built-in custom bookshelf. Again, that white oak. White oak is my favorite. And we have a powder room off to the side here. Just marble everywhere. Look at the details of this bathroom. Recessed LED lighting, the works. Back on out into that main atrium area. Off to the left, we have the family room. Nice TV. This is all restoration hardware furniture. And now in this shot, you can see the entire length of this mega mansion, floor to ceiling glass walls, which open up indoor outdoor living. I mean, just look at the depth in this shot. And here we have the entertainment kitchen with that nice dark wood, black countertops, state of the art appliances. Here we have the dining room table, making our way down the great room. Here's the formal sitting area. And now I'm gonna show you this. It's kind of hazy today, but you still get the picture. This is a 106 foot long swimming pool. So there's a hot tub right here built in. This is the Baja pool. It's just a little shallow bathing pool, sit in your nice chairs. And now even there is a lily pad pond, I believe it's called, just because here you get the true perspective of a 106 foot long swimming pool. Unreal. I mean, this house is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. We're gonna make our way back inside. Also, this is a cantilevered awning, meaning there's no support holding this sucker up. You can see right there how far it shoots out. We're gonna 
head back on in. Here we have the sky bridge leading to the master suite. Pop on in here real quick. Again, with that, that nice white oak. And then right on in to the master closet. Let me just really take a look at just the scale of this. This looks like a showroom. Above we have the skylight and this is sage glass. So that glass actually tints to let in more or less sunlight. And make our way into the master bathroom. Dual vanity, dual water closet. That is one giant slab of marble. You can tell by the veins. See how the veins match perfectly towards each other? That's how you can tell that this is just one giant piece that was expertly cut. I mean, even that, that little bookshelf right there. I mean, that's precision work. So beautiful. Here we are. We're actually filming this on the iPhone to get that wide angle a bit better than the point and shoot. Again, indoor, outdoor, this whole wall opens up. Heading into the master bedroom, sun drenched. You know, on a clear day, you can actually see the ocean. You can see downtown, all the buildings. I mean, you can't compare homes in New York to Los Angeles. There really is no comparison. This is another view of the great room. Actually getting some B-roll shots still, so we're gonna stay out of the way, actually. Let's sneak on over here. Head back downstairs. You know, this place is such new construction that they're actually still doing work. You can see down there. Getting the nice slide shots. All right, let's make our way downstairs. Awesome floating glass staircase with the steel railings. We head back to the atrium, the main level. And if you look up, you can really just see that double height ceiling with the skylight open up. Very, very intricate woodwork here on the walls. This is the den. I mean, just take a look at this. That recessed lighting, that architectural concrete. Here off in the corner, there's actually a Zen rock garden. Like what? And that wall shuts off there. They're working on that right now, but that wall's off and pockets in. Then we have the spa area. I mean, wait till you see this. This is a sauna with Himalayan salt. The entire wall is Himalayan salt. And this is a dream pod. This is a sensory deprivation tank where you feel like you are floating in outer space. I've never seen one of these things in real life. Pretty epic. And then we have the home gym. Back out into that main atrium area. Then we'll just show one more of the guest bedrooms. Look at this, we have the floating walkway. Heading outside to this shared terrace between the two guest bedrooms. I mean, look at this. Look at this room. This might be the nicest house I've ever filmed. It might be. And you're seeing a first glimpse in this long vlog that has just gone from a day in the life of a real estate agent to a cross country road trip to now being out in Beverly Hills filming one of the most expensive homes on the market. Pretty wild ride. But let me know down below if you want more videos like this that are less polished, more, I guess authentic is the word, just more authentic, more documentation of real life rather than a polished uh, real estate tour. You know, those are nice once in a while, but I do think these videos have value. I had a blast making this, but yeah, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know how you're doing. And with that, I will see you in the next episode of this new vlog series.